another cabin update. We have just been continuing to work on things. If you're new here, my husband and I bought a cabin in the Great Smoky Mountains and we are restoring the whole thing and turning it into an Airbnb. I used to do interior design for Airbnbs in Austin, Texas. That's where we live. And my husband grew up in the Smoky Mountains during the summer. He would always be there because his grandparents used to own this house and we bought it after he passed away and we were storing it so come along while we dig through 75 year old things in the cabin and restoring everything to make it more functional and to just refresh everything for now i'm cutting strawberries we just got these at like some stand nearby home depot i find everything so much more expensive here um for every grocery store we've been to like angles and food lion Everything is a lot more expensive, I feel like, in Austin. Got some organic granola, and I think that's gonna look, be so yummy with the strawberries, so. If I can freaking open it. I even hope you can hear me talk, because Darren is outside actually uh, pressure washing the porch, so. I got some yogurt and then obviously we're gonna use some of the granola a little bit of smaller pieces and then top it off with the strawberries sometimes truly less is more when it comes to food i'm getting all these really dark pieces because some are definitely way riper than others I love strawberry season literally the best season out there I've always been more a berry person than like a tropical fruit person berries anytime any day So good. One of the first rooms that we wanted to really tackle because that was going to be the easiest was the mud room. Um, this is what it looked like before. It was very hoarded, so much. Every drawer had something in it. So we're going to redo the whole thing. We're going to lay these beautiful towels that we found and we're gonna paint the entire room dark gray. It's like a dark grayish with a blue undertone. So that's what we've been doing. ADHD ass though, I'm just bouncing from like one part to the other with no rhyme or reason. So obviously don't mind the mess, but we're trying to figure out pain collars for the bedroom, then the kitchen door, and then we have been painting the mudroom as I just as you just saw in the footage. But it's so crazy how many colors there are from the same similar shade. But for the bedroom, I am 
leaning towards the top one. What are you leaning towards? I like the top one. I think these two are very similar. This one is more blue and more green. I like either this one or this one, I think. I do think this is... I kind of have to see how it looks. But are we going to do this door yellow also on the inside? Oh, are we? I think so. I wasn't sure. Because I feel like they should all be the same. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't agree. Okay, you tell me. I'm cool with whatever. But then you need to have, hold the yellow samples next to the G samples so we can see if it is like yeah, a total Yeah, I was going to tape these samples to, mm -hmm. so we can see the lighting on this wall as well with all these screens. Yeah. And then I'll put the yellows next to it. So I'll tape these up. We have dry bay this is now what the bedroom looks like by the way um, obviously not aesthetic yet but it's a lot le more empty than it was when I showed you guys a few days ago no on wilderness right complete out mm. I just think in this lighting it looks totally different can we put it over there yes. and see how it looks yeah um, on the other side of the room but I do feel I got, like it's going to be another, too dark. I got another of it. There's five here, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah cause you, <clears throat> we literally almost took all the samples from the store. <laughs> <laughs> we did not take them all. We got a lot though. All right, it's getting way too dark here. So I am logging off guys. We will decide and come back with what we decided on. So we finished painting the mud room. There's definitely some touch-ups we needed to do still. Um, we put the washer and dryer back because we still have to do laundry. And we're gonna do towel flooring next. But it's looking really good. We're really excited. We're also gonna paint the door possibly a yellow color like I showed in previous video, but we haven't decided which color yet. And we might have to do that on the next trip as we are running out of time. But yeah, excited to finish this. So we have been thrifting a lot. And first I wasn't sure if thrifting was going to be good in North Carolina, but it's actually phenomenal. And we found so many amazing pieces for the cabin. We're going to really be really selective and curated about what we want to have in the cabin so here are a few things that we picked up so far i love this cabin fever sign it's from the 50s then my husband fell in love with this fishing thing it's kind of funky so that is, will be fun to hang up as well we're going to do like different types of wall hangs and then just like some specific decoration we really want to go for like a 70s nostalgia kind of feeling um so these are some things that we found I love this one. It's so fun. It's made from wood and then we got some vintage tennis rackets which I think will be so fun on the wall as well. And we have gathering all these North Carolina license plates because in one part of the mud room we're planning to do like a wall that is all license plates and it's gonna look so fun and so, I don't know, funky. And then I found this helmet and I think it's so cool. Like vision like a wooden cabinet with books on it and then that one and obviously i had to get a little clock there's so many dutch clocks everywhere and this one was like porcelain and really tiny and i thought it was so cute we have like this letter box that we can put it in then i got this vintage blue chair and these amazing knitted blankets like imagine being able to make this like that needs to be my new life mission to make blankets because they look so fucking cool and then we found these vintage skis love them they're like more like kid skis because they're really short we're gonna hang those on the wall as well we bought this chair on facebook marketplace it's phenomenal it's velvet we went all the way to Asheville to get it which is like a 45 minute drive it's not too bad but like i'm obsessed i have to say that living in a house while you're doing construction is very hard for someone that loves aesthetics and really vibes and thrives on that so i cannot wait for more rooms to be really done um, we spend a lot of time outside and we are like replacing lamps and stuff like that. As you can see there and replacing some of the outdoor lamps here or lights, however you say that in English. And we eventually are going to paint the outside of the house, which is going to be really exciting. But for now, we're just doing as much as we can. Oh. 
put him in to work. It's made tonight. No wonder it's swelling. That's so ridiculous. What is it? It's not even real wood. That's why uh, we didn't get new doors. Carving an apple. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsies. Whoopsies. It's like every single piece, of course. At least these didn't fall. Quickly replacing a lamp. Yeah. What could go wrong? What could simply go <laughs> wrong? What's the worst that could happen? Uh, I'm missing one bit. I'm like zooming in really annoying like every dad in the 90s on <laughs> camera cords. Oh, uh, I found the bit. Oh, this is actually going pretty easy. Good. <laughs>